The sponsor of my channel is Manco.store, a trade site with lots of good unusuals for decent prices, instant delivery, lowest commissions, monthly giveaways, link is in the description. Yo, what's good everybody? It's your Russian boy Vorobey here, back with another video. Did you miss me? Please tell me you did. Please. Guys, guys, don't you think that with this hat I look just like Thomas Shelby? My god, I'm literally him! Anyway, today we're doing a Q&A video, a very original and funny one, right? Let's jump right into it. The first question, uh, the guy says I have multiple questions. That That is illegal, but you got some likes, so we're doing it. How did you learn English? You said how on today's stream, but not how you actually got to basics of English. So I started learning English back in school. I was studying in a school with in-depth study of English language. Even though all my English teachers were literal bitches, I somehow still managed to force myself to learn English properly. I learned the grammar, and that is very important. My mom also got me into English courses outside of the school, but they were kind of lame as well. As, as I remember them now. They were kind of bad, but it all went a lot better when I started playing computer games, because two main computer games that I ever played in my life were Trickmania and Team Fortress 2, and in both of these games you gotta be speaking English 24-7. I talked to people in English in the game chat, I made some friends, I talked to them on Steam, then maybe Skype. You know, that's where it all started. And then when I started my YouTube channel, I started speaking English in my videos. And most importantly, I started speaking English on streams. That is the point where my English got so much better just because of streaming. So yeah, I got all the grammar in school and then improved it a lot through the internet. But it's years of experience, obviously. What do you think of maps in alternative game modes tab, like Degrid Keep, Doomsday, Hydro, etc.? I don't really play them. I know Degrid Keep, I played it a little bit, it's pretty fun. You can practice your fucking trick stabs or something. You can play Huntsman annoying people right there because it's it's kind of OP, right? But Doomsday Hydro, I, I have never touched them, so I can't really say anything about it. How did you find out about TF2? A friend of mine told me, uh, back in 2011, I do believe. So he got me into this game. There are multiple questions about my aim, and a guy asks about aim trainers. So basically, you gotta play game more to aim better. You gotta work out your muscle memory. You gotta figure out the perfect sensitivity for you, that feels right for you, and then you just play with it a lot. Aim trainers are bad, it, it's much better if you just uh, play some MGE 1v1s or just a DM match or just fucking grind high tower all the time because it's, it's a DM map, pretty much. Aim trainers suck, that's my opinion. If you could buff a relatively obscure subclass, which one would you buff and how would you do it? I'd probably go with Fat Scout and uh, by adding some kind of a shotgun that is gonna boost you if you kill somebody. For example, if your shotgun is deployed and you're killing people, every time you kill somebody you boost your speed, just like Demonite does. But if you switch back to minigun, let's say, or to melee, the speed is standard. I don't know how it's gonna work, but I always wanted Heavy to have some more mobility because he's slow as fuck, man. Of course, a few questions about should TF2 become more competitive? No, it should not. Every one of us loves TF2 just because uh, one day they played some pub servers and they, they got in love with them. I do believe 90% of the players that play this game only play it casually, so there's no point in making it more competitive. Even though competitive is, is pretty good, it's a really nice experience that I, I wish more people had. But the thing is, there is no bridge between casual and competitive. Casual is usually 12 to 12 match where everybody does whatever the fuck they want, and then there is competitive let's say sixes, with class limits, uh, weapon whitelists, you gotta communicate with people, holy fuck you gotta use the voice chat, <laughs> you know, even if I think about it, even corner strikes, uh, competitive is not really competitive, because whenever you play 5v5 uh, mode, nobody even talks to each other, everybody does their own thing, there's no coordination, so real competitive coordination only happens when you communicate with your team. It's not even about uh, the actual game mode. Let it be 6v6, let it be 9v9, but you gotta communicate a lot. And that's that's what people don't really like doing. They, they prefer texting, of course. Do you prefer people calling you on your phone or text you in your social media? I think that's the second option. That's already the biggest problem with competitive TF2. Everything else simply adds up. There is no tr translation between casual and competitive, so I'll stick with casual. But competitive is good. Lots of people also ask me about variety content. Am I gonna upload something besides TF2? Yes, 100% yes. I really enjoy making YouTube videos. As you could notice already, I upload weekly and I, I'm really into this shit. I love doing it. But TF2 kind of limits my creativity at some point. And yes, I, I do play other games and uh, I do other stuff that might be interesting for people to watch. So 
I'm definitely planning to do something else, but don't worry about it. Never gonna give you up. With TF2, I fucking love this game and I'll keep enjoying it, that's for sure. What games besides TF2 do you play? Uh, right now I play Dirt Rally 2.0. I fucking love this game, especially because I have a pretty decent steering wheel and the experience is, is top notch. I played Quake Champions. I played lots of Trickmania yet again and I still sometimes play this game. I played lots of Minecraft. I played StarCraft. I play lots of single player games, just lots of fucking games. I love gaming, but I made gaming. What YouTube channels besides TF2 do you watch? I don't watch TF2 videos, they're not interesting to me. I used to watch TF2 back in the day, especially when I started playing this game. I, I used to watch lots of Star, lots of Jorma. Uh, those were probably two main YouTubers that I watched, but then I, I just lost any interest because I, I know way too much about this game, so... It's not really interesting for me to watch videos. I'd much rather fucking play this game and record my own. Speaking about other content that I watch on YouTube, it's not really something specific. I'm subscribed to lots of channels, but right now, if I watch YouTube, I only do that when I'm completely fucking bored. For example, I don't want to play any game. I just lie in bed and watch YouTube shorts. Yeah, I, I do that sometimes, even though it, it's all fucking replays from TikTok. But it's sometimes fun, okay? Don't, don't judge me. I might watch a video from a random person from my subscriptions or maybe some YouTube recommendations. I, I don't really care what to watch. It's just a fucking time killer for me. Will you ever do a video about the alternative game modes in TF2? This is second time I see this question, so I guess you people might want to see it. Yeah, it might happen. What do you think about random crits? Can we agree that 2 Fort is the worst map in the game? Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts on friendlies? I killed them all, there are free kills. Random crits are bad, they should not really exist in the game, but this is the bad thing that I'm okay with. It's the reality we all live in, and if I think about it, if I die to, uh, to a random crit, but then I kill 5 people with a random crit sticky, let's say, it's a pretty fair trade. Still, it's kind of bullshit, just as I said many times, when I'm grinding my 20 kill streak, my godlike, and I die on 19 to a fucking random crit, that's bad. There was a question somewhere about my highest kill streak. My highest kill streak was 92. Guess how I fucking died? I actually managed to get that kill streak without pocket medics. I was playing double cross as a stock scout and was just killing people. They were, they were really bad, so that, that's the only way it happened. Friendlies. Uh, friendlies are just like vegans. You know, if you wanna do your thing, I'm absolutely good with that, do whatever you want, but get that shit away from me, alright? I don't want any of that, and if I want to kill you, I am gonna do that. I mean, I, I gotta kill friendly. <laughs> kill friendly, it's not vegans, obviously, but you got what I mean. Both are trying to get in your asshole, just trying to let you know that I'm friendly. I, I don't fucking care. How much on average does it take to make a video? Uh, sometimes it might take quite a while. Sometimes it takes a few days just simply because I can't find a server without bots and I just completely give up and then continue in the next day. But mostly it takes about a day. I wake up in the morning, I record stuff, I edit stuff, I render it, and then I upload when I need to. What motivated you to start YouTube? This is actually a cool question because uh, there was a person that I saw in a pub server when I couldn't really play this game that well and he was destroying everybody with Pyro. No, it's not fucking Skechak. It was the guy that you probably don't even know. It was Walt Disney Housewives. He was making fun pub montages and then he made a montage on that exact double cross server that I was playing on. I saw those videos and I was like, holy fuck. That's some, that's some good shit. He was definitely the biggest motivation for me back then. I started learning pyro because of him, I started learning all those tricks, you know, reflex jumping, uh, flare punching, all of that stuff. Uh, about 5 or 6 years ago I used to make TF2 montages. That's where my YouTube channel started. Will you do videos on ideas for weapon concepts? It's not really my niche, you know, but if I had a chance to play with this weapon on a pub server where other people's played and maybe showcase how it actually works in-game, that would be cool, but showing the stats of a weapon, uh, how it looks and all the other stuff, in my opinion, is pretty boring. I prefer gameplay. What games have you put a ton of hours into besides TF2? So there are probably three main games. It's, of course, TF2, uh, Trickmania that I was talking about previously. I used to play it somewhat about in 2010. I'm definitely having about 1500 hours in it, or maybe even 2k, I don't know. If you don't know what Trickmania is, it's a racing game, arcade racing game, 
but the one that takes so much skill. It was uh, literally eSport back in the day. It's still very popular in uh, in France, I do believe. They still hold some uh, tournaments. But yeah, I was also playing it competitively. I got a really nice rank. I got uh, into top 100 worldwide uh, when this game was actually alive. There are lots of series of this game, so the one that I was playing personally was Trickmania United Forever. That's my favorite one. And the third game is Minecraft. I don't know how many hours I spent on it, but that's a lot. What is your favorite map and game mode? My favorite map is definitely High Tower, and my game mode probably Payload. And moving to the last few questions for today. How is your life in Russia going, friend? It's... it's going okay. I'm pretty good. What else do you do besides TF2 YouTubing and destroying players in-game? I had a few jobs previously. Right now I'm not working because I, I don't want to work this summer because of this fucked up weather. I can imagine sitting there in office all sweaty and shit. Nah, nah. I started traveling around Russia lately. I do mountain biking. I also do some music. I party with my homies. I spend time with my girlfriend, I eat, I sleep, yeah. General opinions on TF2 Impact on your life. Uh, the Impact is overall positive, simply because I managed to learn English that well because of TF2. I, I learned playing computer games very good because of TF2. I can play any other shooter, I don't care. TF2 also made me figure out that I love streaming a lot, I love making videos a lot. It is gonna be in my future and only God knows where it's gonna bring me. TF2 made me grow this little community around my YouTube channel, which is absolutely incredible. So. Yeah, TF2 impact is pretty big. There are some downsides because sometimes I just start thinking that probably I'm spending way too much time on this game, but since it does not really harm me, does not harm my everyday life, my finances, anything, I'm okay with that. So I'm very glad that at some point I started playing this game. Yeah, that's gonna be all the questions for today's video. As you can see, they're mostly about gaming, about Team Fortress 2 yet again, but yeah, that's that's pretty fucking obvious because my entire channel is about TF2. If I ever make another Q&A video, I really want you to ask some other questions about my life, about uh, some activities or anything else that you might be interested in. So that one's gonna be very fun to do. That's it for this one though, hope you enjoyed this little Q&A video, if you did make sure to leave a like and comment and of course subscribe for more weekly content. And join my Discord server, the link to it is down in the description. I also plan to start streaming a bit more often so I'm gonna be happy to see you on my streams. I'm gonna be streaming here on YouTube, it's not Twitch, so yes. That's it, see you the next one, bye.